I'm Rhonda. Rhonda Lebeck. I'm up here for the semester. Yeah, geography. Geology. Yeah, well, actually, seismology. Earthquakes. And you two must be Val and Earl. I've heard all about you. We deny everything. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I, I loved his work from the time of Animal House and Diner, and certainly Footloose. He was, uh, he really carried that movie off so well. And he obviously was an actor who had a, a sense of humor, but also was very real. And, and that's what we were looking for. And Fred, I loved him from The Right Stuff and um, Escape from Alcatraz. The film that I thought um, actually showed me Fred was so right for this more than anybody was Euphoria. A, a little scene film, but he played a character in it that I just thought, whoa, this guy is, is um, Earl. Earl Bassett needs to be played by Fred Ward. And we were so lucky that he immediately responded to the script, and he and Kevin just, it was a match made in heaven. Uh, Finn Carter was someone who came in to read for the part. I really wasn't familiar with her work, but she just blew us away. Michael Gross was the last person I would have thought for originally for Burt Gummer at the time because he had been playing um, the father on Family Ties at that time. He had just done the FBI murders, but I, I hadn't seen that TV movie that showed a very different side of Michael. Um, different, very different from Tremors as well, but it showed that certainly this actor has a great range. And he came in to read for the part, which we were lucky for to get someone of his caliber to come in and want to read for the part. And once again, I, I was so blown away by his performance. And he was jumping up on the couch, standing up, standing on the table in the room. And, and it was just wonderful. I, I believed this movie. I believed the survivalist when I heard him read. And so it, there was no doubt he was the guy for the role. And Reba McIntyre was someone who um, the executives at Universal, uh, Jim Jackson, Casey Silver, said, there's this country singer, Reba McIntyre, you probably know her. Um, she wants to get into the movies. I thought, oh my god, that's the last thing I need as a non-actress for, for the movie, because I, this is my first movie, and I really wanted good actors in all the parts. But I said, you know, if, she, if she'll come out and read for us. I mean, there's no reason not to read her. And she flew herself out to LA, and she, I fell in love when she walked through the door. She was so engaging and so wonderful. Her, you could just tell her natural style uh, would lend itself to the role of Heather Gummer. We were just so lucky with, with Reba McIntyre, Michael Gross, Finn Carter, uh, Fred and, and Kevin, we were just universally lucky uh, with the... Well, it was great. It was great at, uh, from a writer's point of view to, to stand there and go, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You know, as opposed to sort of sitting there chewing your fingernails, wondering, wondering what you're going to say to the director to get him to change the line reading, you know, and it, it really wasn't, it really wasn't necessary.